Welcome to Central Valley Talk, COVID edition. I'm wearing the mask because, oh, why am I wearing the mask? We don't even have any guests in the studio anymore. So take it off and get a good deep breath. If you're watching and you have any kind of business or a service you provide or an event coming up and you wanna let the people know about it in the Central Valley or anywhere in the world, they watch us all over the world. I don't know how they find us, but they do. Uh, but go to our web channel, centralvalleytalk.com. Uh, there's a place you could click and sign up for a spot on our show. It's free to come down here and be interviewed, or we'll do it remote. You don't even have to come down here anymore. Uh, anyway, we have a fascinating guest all the way from Reedley, California. And I'm going to say his name wrong because I just learned it. Ba Bobby Ikemia. How do you say it, Bobby? That's good. That's good. Good enough. And we see behind you there's boxes. These are the boxes we've grown up with, seeing these boxes around the valley, uh, packing boxes, I guess you call them. Yes, they're pretty much picking boxes that the farmers used to use to take their fruit from the fields to the packing sheds. Yes, and uh, we've got hundreds of labels that I've collected over the years. And, and uh, we were primarily a wholesale business, but uh, now with the pandemic, we've had to kind of shift gears and open to the public and doing more handcrafts and things and making things out of reclaimed wood and, and out of our boxes as well. Yeah, so uh, it's not just, uh, uh, everybody's changing how they do business now. I mean, with COVID and you gotta be careful and uh, all businesses are shut down, but you're finding new ways to market these boxes. Now people collect these, right? Yes, that's right. They're uh, collector's items and our boxes are all over the world, all over the nation, everywhere. And uh, you're creating other things out of the boxes as well? Uh, we, we also create out of boxes, and then we also have a lot of reclaimed wood. A lot of times when we look for the boxes, we find them in old barns, and the farmer says, well, you could have the boxes if you tear down the barn. So yeah. that's how we end up with the wood, and so we thought we'd get a little creative with the wood as well. Yeah, well that old barn wood's in demand, too, uh, for projects just like that. How if somebody, well, tell us some of the names on the boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, Put you on the spot well, here. Right here we have uh, Contadina, yeah. and they're still around. We have, uh, this one's kind of rare. It's Raiden Company from Clovis. Ah. And Hume down here. And then there's a lot of other boxes behind me, but uh, without me getting up, uh, I'll try to show you a little later. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I grew up in Clovis, so uh, we recognize some of those boxes, but I just dawned on, me, dawned on me just now, maybe they put their names on the boxes when they ship the fruit so they could get them back or something like that after. Oh. Well, uh, these are, are the, the ones that the farmers use when they pick the fruit out of the fields to bring it to the packing shed, and then they put it in another box. Yeah, yeah. And then you ship it, and then those never come back, so... Right. Uh, it's kind of hard to collect those. A lot of people collect labels, but uh, I, I haven't really gotten into that because there's so many other people that collect labels. Labels are very popular, yeah. You could find them find them a lot. Now, uh, let's say somebody says, I, I need these boxes. I want these boxes, or they'd be perfect for a decorating thing I'm doing in my home. How can they get them? Well, the best way is to follow us on our Facebook page or uh, Instagram, and it's the old box shop. And, you know, we post every day practically, and uh, you can message us uh, through Messenger or uh, my phone number's on there. You can text me, call me. And uh, I'm pretty much available by appointment. So you just type in the computer old box shop. They're probably going to find you somewhere. Yes, it, we're in the old box shop. The old box shop. I think the I old see, box shop. I think I see growling over your uh, shoulder there. They're still, yeah. they're still in Reedley, aren't they? They're still in Reedley, yes. Very good, very good. So old box shop, and they can order them right online? Uh, well, we're pretty much a local business, so uh, local pickup. Sometimes we can mail, but it, it costs more to ship it than the box costs. So. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So best just drive out to Reedley and pick it up. Yes, we're not that far. Now, do you have a little shop? Uh, uh, well, yes, it's a, we operate out of a, uh, an old packing shed, actually. Okay. And uh, I've got a little wood shop there and uh, keep our inventory there and do our cleaning. And uh, we fix boxes and palletize them and uh, keep the inventory there as well. Now, can somebody just show up there or do they need to make an appointment? 
Uh, it's better if you have an appointment because we're not there all the time due to the pandemic. We're, we're limiting our hours. Yeah. Now, is it downtown Reedley? Uh, no, it's out in the country. Out in the country. Okay. Okay. I just drove through there the other day. I saw a drive-in movie theater out there. Is that, oh. is that in operation well, anymore? It's not an operation anymore, but we're real close to it. Real close to that. I forget what yes. corner that was. I was lost out there, so. Yes, we're uh, real close to that. That's uh, Manning and Alta. Manning and Alta, that's right, that's right. And I found a new way to Reedley. That 180 goes all straight out to Frankwood now. I don't know if it always did, but uh, that's a nice drive out that way to get to Reedley. Yes. Go out uh, 180 and turn right on Frankwood. Beautiful. You drive by the mountain with the big S on it and the big R on the other side. and. Uh, that's I right. Think it was right at the base of that mountain. Um, That's right. So if you're watching from home and you're interested in these boxes, uh, by the way, what are people using them for? Well, uh, they use them for decorating, for furniture, for store displays, for storage, for plants, weddings, a lot of things that, that we could use these boxes for. I was thinking I might like to put my record albums in something like that. Oh, we've got the box just for you. Come we on by. Just for me. Perfect. Oh, yeah, they're putting up some cool stuff on the screen here that you have there as well. I see some of the old wood and, and different things that, that you are repurposing. Very cool. That'd be fun just to go out and visit your shop, I think. But make an appointment if you do that, you guys. Go to Google and just type the old box shop there in Reedley. Um, Instagram, that at sign the old box shop it's the old box shop in any any format facebook instagram anything like that and you'll find them uh here's her phone number 559-307-4273 uh Bo bobby ikamia were you been in reedley your whole life i i i grew up in reedley and still live in reedley and i've been around a few other places but uh i just came back home yeah reedley's one of the greatest places on earth, take my word for it. Um, anyway, Bobby, we're out of time. Anything else you want to tell our viewers? Uh, no, thanks for your uh, help. Thanks for your input and uh, hope to see you all soon. Yeah, and I got to tell you, this is the most fascinating and fun business we've had on here in a long time, so we appreciate it. Bobby Ikamia, I'll probably say it wrong again, the old box shop out in Reedley. Call him, make an appointment, go out there and buy something for goodness sake. Thanks, Bobby, we'll see you next time. All right, take care. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.